Diving further into vertical access wind turbine designs, today we'll look at alternators. I'm Dennis, thanks for watching. I've used both radial and axial flux alternators in my tests. Radial seems to be the most available online. I see more promise in axial flux designs, which are much easier to construct by hobbyists, with or without a 3D printer. Radial designs require a more complex winding procedure than axial. Axial is straightforward and simple. That's why I chose to purchase or modify radial alternators and build my own axials from scratch for my VOTS under test. I originally picked up a dozen or so used laundry motors from a local repair shop, rewired them and tested them as motors and alternators. These are very good motors, not so good alternators. The metal plates and the stators cause excessive cogging and this raised the cut-in speed to an unacceptable level. So I decided to make my own. I've built and tested single stators with a single rotor, as well as a stator sandwich between two rotors, and also two stators with three rotors. My test bed showed that the alternators as built needed to rotate well above local wind conditional average of about 100 RPM in order to generate enough power to charge my 24 volt batteries. Tried it anyways, and settled on a stator sandwich between two rotors. Then, put it into the wind. I ran these tests with the fiberglass over plywood wing set, the system would charge for a few seconds in gusts, but would drop off quickly with the wind. I just couldn't get enough speed out of the available wind. Suspecting my home-built alternator at fault, I decided to purchase a standard 200 watt, off-the-shelf version from Amazon. Eager for success without first running it on my test bed, I refitted the VOT to accommodate a new alternator and again put it into the wind. Same results. It became clear that I would have to either increase my wing size by nearly a factor of three, which would necessitate a redesign on my mounting system, or start working on a gearbox, among other things. At this point, I decided to continue making improvements to my home-built Axial Flux alternators, my wing sets, gearboxes, and perhaps go from 24 to 12 volts. As you can see, there's a lot more to come. Stay tuned. 